What up, people? What up, people? Oh, man. Long day of work today. Freaking tired. Yeah. Very. My uh, back's been killing me, and it's hurting me even more now. We so. had a full body workout. Yeah. We worked on the shop a little bit on uh, Jason's video, and then I worked a little bit on the uh, tiny house. The shop don't look the same. Yeah, it looks it looks good. I think Danielle's going to be happy with uh, yeah. all the progress on it. Uh, I think tomorrow or I guess my next video it'll be a little bit of work on the uh, tiny house and then also uh, working out in the animal area we got to get a lot of stuff done for that because I have about 90% of my stuff out of the house now uh, I believe realistically probably one more truck and trailer load to get the rest of the stuff on the inside of the house and then after that it'll just be the animals and I'll be able to bring up the dogs in my car and then the cat in the car and then uh, we'll have to bring the truck and trailer down or do something to get the rest of the animals up here yeah and i mean we were just talking and it's like what's more important right now do we start you know working on his tiny house or really make sure the animal pen is ready and stuff like that so you know well it's pretty much putting both of our channels on hold for a little bit just to get the stuff done yeah and it's not a lot of stuff it's uh just maybe beefing up the fence a little bit putting in another gate uh and then getting the water source and stuff ready. And then I brought my deer feeder up, which yeah. I use to help shoot out corn and stuff for the animals just for an extra treat. And then uh, we got to find some uh, metal barrels and that have the lid on it so we can store food and stuff in there so mice and stuff don't get to it. And I told Jason, we probably need to get another barn cat. So uh, one, Shadow has somebody to play with, and two, just help keep the mice and stuff away since we're out in the country so yeah and snakes and stuff but um do have an idea for a water source uh you know a lot of people kept saying if you watched the video where i put rock in the driveway um why didn't you just drive the tractor through there you know well there's no gate so that's why we're gonna do that but since one big reason why we're gonna put a gate in is to dig a pond Oh, it's a tiny one in the uh, goat pen, kind of like at his place. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to get these animals up here. We were just talking about other animals that we uh, potentially might get out here on the property. That's going to be a little crazy. That's going to be down the road, though. People don't start freaking out. Yeah. Um, I already know if, if money is not an issue, I know the first thing Danielle would get. Uh, zebra. No, that'd be cool. What would she get? What does she always talk about every time we're driving these back roads? I don't know. I don't listen. A horse? No. A cow? Line. Oh, a longhorn. Yep. But would you get it as a baby or a, an old one? I mean, they look cooler when they're older because they have the huge horns, but at that point, you're really risking it uh, yeah. if they're nice or not. But if we were to get something like that, like bigger animals, we'd definitely have to put in a bigger fence and yeah that'd be down the line to do that but um like i was telling him i was like it'd be cool because as of right now all we're really showing is work and stuff but uh soon whenever he is up here full time and with the animals to be able to go out there and actually collect the eggs and i can't remember maybe you guys could comment i don't remember when you start a garden it's um, after the first freeze, yeah, or the, after the last freeze, I mean. But I don't know. I don't, I don't really know care. it is in Oklahoma. I did it in, in Texas at my place. Everything grew, and it didn't matter what time I planted it, and it didn't matter if I had special soil or normal soil. As long as it got wired, had sun, it grew. Well, yeah, but you would also don't want it to freeze and kill everything. Depends. That's why, that's why you do it after the last Depends freeze. on what you plant. Any of it will freeze. Nombre. Yebre. Nombre. Man, I sure hope this video is not too shaky. We're on a uh, a Kalicha road right now. Just and... shoot dang range. Oh, so what do you mean? It's okay if it shakes. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Cold beer. But uh, area. We did put a trail cam up, and you guys. My arm is tired. Seeing the video uh, coming up on the Crockers. We'll give you all a sneak peek. We saw a book. Um, on the trail cam. Wait, I, I've never seen a buck out there. I thought Buck was up in Ohio. He's down at the Shoot Dang Ranch. I mean, Buck, you came down to Oklahoma, didn't even tell us. I ain't gonna say nothing. But if I, you don't know who that is, go to Backwoods Mindset. Yeah, he writes creepy letters. Hmm. They're funny. They're funny. But 
yeah, uh, I'm going to be going back Monday. One, like I mentioned in my other videos, uh, I'll be going live down at my place. Not that I have much stuff down there, but uh, tomorrow is going to be a, a full day of work. And then Sunday, we have some special plans. I think that'll be fun. Yeah, we're pumped. Uh, Danielle's like super pumped um, about it. Uh, I mean, it's Super Bowl Sunday. She doesn't really care about the football aspect of it. Just because her team's out. But uh, we haven't really done anything in a little bit, so... This will be fun. We're excited. Yeah. Hopefully the food's good. The oh, yeah. I'm not sure if that person can actually cook or not. Yeah. And I don't mean the missus. I mean the mister. I'll put my name on it. He got it down. We'll have to see. But yeah. on, the, on the way out about this area, we saw a uh, coyote running. So that's definitely something we're going to have to really prepare for when we have the animals out. Uh, you know, clearly we'll have our dogs and stuff. But... Ooh. We gotta get ready for the uh, coyotes and stuff coming in. Yeah, and I'm sure we're gonna lose a couple of birds here and there. It's just a part of uh, having animals and stuff. And I mean, I hope we don't lose any goats, but you never know. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, things happen. Shout out to uh, Jerry. He's going over to check out the animals uh, at my place. He had called me the other day. He said, "Who's watching your animals?" I said, "Well, Tom and Rhonda always watch them. Just keep an eye on them." And uh, Jerry just says when he stops by, or when he drives by, he just stops real quick. And I think he's well, mainly he's got, doing it because he's got a baby goat there. I was going to say, he's got a little interest in that. He's got that little black uh, goat that I have with the blue eyes. And uh, I don't know. I I don't like leaving all the animals down there, but it's, do? I, I have to do it to get up here to get stuff started. And uh, it's very, very close to getting everybody up here. And I don't know. It's after this last load of bringing everything up, I got very encouraged to uh, get things going even quicker. So uh, my game plan is once I get back to Texas, I'm gonna hit up Matt and see when he's gonna come up and get the kayaks and whatever else he's gonna get. And then after that, I'll get the rest of my stuff out. And then the last thing will be getting the animals. And I know people were asking about how we're gonna bring the animals up here. I got an idea. Jason said he has an idea. So. I ain't gonna tell y'all because I'd be like, nah. we'll just we'll show you after we filmed it. Yeah. We'll just show them up here. We'll just say that. But uh, we're going to probably leave them all in the back of his truck right here in the back seat. Have eight goats, a dozen chickens, five turkeys. I could say this. At some point in this truck, there has been quail, rabbits, dogs. I've had that cat, in my car. <laughs> uh, turkey, all that stuff, and a calf. Remember oh, that's that, right. It pooped all over me. Remember we had that calf for a minute? Yeah. Uh, we'll have a new turkey on the property as well. I was talking to Jerry before I left, and he's going to bring over his uh, female royal palm, which was in return, like I mentioned in my other video. It's a trade for the little baby goat. I was just going to give him the goat, but he said he wanted to uh, spice up a deal. So I was like, why not? But And then... Um, no, and then. I don't know what he has right now, but Matt Payne does turkey, Who? wild turkey, Matt Payne. He makes his own whiskey? Yep. Shoot and so we'll probably eventually get some turkey from him and then let them go. Unfortunately, about half of them die um, from predators, but the other half will thrive and then populate the area. So I think that'd be cool to do in the future and then we can hunt turkey. That'd be yeah. awesome. People, you know you're tired when your arm is aching by holding up a cell phone for nine minutes now. Yeah. But I guess with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. We got some tacos waiting for us. Yeah, Daniel made some tacos. Uh, I'm very, very close to actually staying out at Shoot Dang Ranch, but for now, we're gonna enjoy a taco dinner and- uh, Gotta edit videos. Yeah, edit videos and I don't know Maybe what else. watch some people live, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's Friday. I keep forgetting, since I quit my corporate job and done YouTube, I don't have a clue on what day it is. I always tell Tom and Rhonda, the only time I know that it's trash day at my place is I know that they put their trash out the day before because they have a different trash service on theirs Thursday, mine's Friday. I know it's exciting for you guys to hear that, but hey, that's the only time I be able to keep, keep track of the days. But anyways, we're gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Bye people.